Um, okay, so first off, I should probably promote this a little bit. You get it totally recorded everything I just did. Great. Uh, <laughs> um, today, I know you guys are going to be a little delayed, um, but today I wanted to discuss. Um, okay, so <laughs> first off, I should probably promote this a little bit. Um, I want to discuss whatever you guys wanted to discuss, really. Oh, geez. That chat is so fast. How do I keep up with that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, let's make that bigger. It's so fast, you guys. You guys. Hold on. <laughs> People are just, like, exploding all over the place. Ah, like my first time making love. Yum. <laughs> All over the place. I'm so sorry, darling. I didn't mean to ruin the drapes. Oh, <laughs> thanks for subscribing. Put that over here. Oh my god, this is... This is rough. Um, this is a lot of people. Ugh, maybe I should put on like a chat delay. So we can keep up. I think I should do that. Um, I, I, I'm just not very good at this or a lot of things so this might take a second i'm i'm so so sorry that i'm not better at what i do um oh god and 500 people are watching me already <laughs> you don't know what to do how do we do this i need to slow down the feed sorry i just need to slow down the feed so i can like talk to people directly um shoot Oh, here we go. This is how I do it. Okay, enable slow chat mode. Uh, we'll say 30 seconds per person. Done. That'll slow it down. 600 people are now watching. Oh my god, no pressure. Uh, thank you for the the loving amazingness. You guys are... What's your your goal for this live chat? Oh, I just wanted... To, there's like a bunch of like people... Not a bunch. Like two people saying some crazy stuff. And I just wanted to deal with it um and i wanted anybody who had questions about it to just go ahead and drop it like it's hot you know uh talk about it guys stop sending random things you are the best youtuber thank you <laughs> don't say that on twitter <laughs> twitter's a crazy place um first of all if you guys want to get followed by me on twitter just uh super chat me with your username and i'll be like oh one sec i'll go follow you on twitter um Anyway, someone said there's more than two victims. I'm talking about people... Oh, my God. 700 people watching. Um, I'm talking about people who um, have talked about me recently. Which is, I should probably turn off the... Yeah. it's uh, People are subscribing to me like crazy. I'm getting chat like crazy. This is pretty lit. <laughs> I'm such a big fan. Cool. Twitter's mad. Oh, Larry. Husbando. Please talk about wetlands. Wetlands. Okay, so uh, hold back your questions for a second. I'll talk about wetlands real quick. Um, so as a lot of you guys probably assume, I had no idea that what I was doing was, like, bad. Otherwise, I wouldn't have filmed it. <laughs> I would have done it. I wouldn't have done it. I would not have done it, but I definitely wouldn't have filmed it. I definitely wouldn't have done it, but I definitely wouldn't have filmed it. I hate to say more definitely I would not have filmed it. Because, you know, it's like filming yourself speeding on the highway. Who does that? So I didn't know it was bad. And the real dilemma is that I didn't have a permit. So, like, um, all the people coming out who are, like, super Earth. I love the Earth and you're terrible. I thought that was kind of weird because I never knew so many people were such environmentalists. And it was actually kind of inspiring. So um, was that what you're talking about with the wetland thing? It's I've already paid the, the fee to um, get uh, permission or whatever to do it uh yeah so is that is that cool <laughs> <It's> that... <laughs> now questions what do you have uh have i watched a series of unfortunate events i have i think so no i haven't why did i say yes i didn't think about i saw the movie that's why i just said yes this is kind of weird yeah it is kind of weird uh you're awesome thank you for saying that morgan's a lesbian okay you're pretty awesome thank you no clue why but i love you What's your opinion on surviving R. Kelly? I would love to see that. That would be interesting. I don't know. I it's it's see, here's the thing with a lot of like 
like uh, stuff like Kevin Spacey, totally guilty because he basically admitted it. Right. And then there's like apparently video footage of him out there doing it and stuff. But he like straight up admitted it and it's over for him. Right. So uh, that is like something that I could totally get behind judging. Plus that creepy video he made recently, like, you know, that you don't know the truth and blah, blah, blah. Just like outright say you're innocent if you're innocent. Oh, wait. Super chat. Uh, when will you be making another emo Charlie video? Hopefully soon. We're making a bunch of sketches soon on the main channel. Um, anyway, uh, can can you visit Washington? I, <laughs> I I am in Washington. Uh, do you color your hair? Yes, I do. Will Kai ever remove their breasts? Go uh, potentially. Kai talks about it all the time. Um, it's possible. Just depends. Uh, so what are your, what about Sierra and Dasha's situation? I hope they all get better. I really want Sierra and Dasha to be happier with or without each other, whatever. I'd, I'd love to, to do a time machine and go back in time and hang out with Sierra again because I miss him and I loved making videos with him and I hate that there's so much stuff between us. Like I really, Sierra was so fun and I recently watched the Netflix uh, show You, and it has the main character who looks just like Seer. Like, looks like he could be Seer's brother. And I was just like, oh, my God. Okay, so someone says, why did you force yourself? See, that's, that's um, you're supposed to say, did you force yourself on Maya? And then the answer is no. But you tried to be like, do you love me? And then someone says, oh, wait, uh, wait, what was the, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do the funny joke setup. Um, it's like, uh... Did you dump me because you love me? And the person says, no. And you're like, so you're saying you love me. That's that's the setup. You set it up that way. Would you date Ben Shapiro? I don't know who that is. Who Ben Shapiro? Thanks for the super chat, though. Uh, but to go back to that. Thanks again for that. But w w to go back to that, um, Maya, I was explaining this on you now. Someone was like, Maya said that I kissed her without her consent. And I kissed her. Oh, shit. There's more super chats. Oh, there you go. So this is one of the super chats that's what happened to Maya's situation. Okay, so Maya initially got really mad when I said anything because I like I, I posted text or something. Oh my god, this is overwhelming, you guys. It's so fast. I need to slow it down more. I need to slow down the questions more. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna slow it down 60 seconds per person. Maybe that'll help. Slow it down. Okay, and thank you for the super chats. I'll get to you guys. <laughs> Bush seeds with that, you're funny. Uh, I'll get to you. I'll get the super chat in a minute. Uh, it's really hard. So, okay. So Maya, uh, was interested in Kai. Kai was Laney at the time identifying as I think they, them. Um, and I was interested in Maya, but more so interested in them dating and being happy because I want Kai to be happy and so forth. So, uh, uh, Maya and Kai kissed. And then I that gave me the green light to kiss uh, Maya as well, as that had, was what would happen in the previous relationship. Um, Kai just said on the live stream, I was right next to Kai, saying that he didn't know or that he didn't kiss Maya first, which is confusing because I would have had a really hard time just outright kissing somebody without Kai's approval. As you guys may know, Kai is kind of the alpha when it comes to consent in our relationship. Like... Um, what I can and can't do is basically up to Kai. <laughs> so, yeah, I, it would have been a big issue if Kai hadn't kissed first. Anyway, to answer... Oh, my God. You guys are so good to me. Thank you for all these super chats. But um, regarding that, um, I think one morning, uh, I went up to tell Maya that she could come down. Thank you again. Holy shit. Um, sorry for cussing. <laughs> I, I went down to tell, um, or up to tell Maya that breakfast was going to be ready or ask her what breakfast was for. This is like a year ago, so it's hard to remember the details. But I asked Maya uh, what she wanted, and uh, I think she said like pancakes or something. I don't know. But I went in uh, to hug her as I hug a lot. I hug a lot of people a lot. And once I hugged her, um, I felt comfortable i felt like it was right to kiss her and after i kissed her i said will you go out with us like kai and i and uh maya said yes and then later on thank you dev you nice person um i after maya said yes um there was another point where i picked maya up physically like i picked her up and carried her somewhere 
think that that was what it was a hug or a kiss or no sorry not a kiss it was a hug or a a lift up it was so insignificant i'm having trouble even remembering but uh, it was a hug or a lift up and later on she went and told kai that she didn't like being hugged or lift up, lifted up by me so we all sat down and i talked to kai and maya at the same time and i said uh because maya didn't believe that i told kai everything that happened and i did so i talked to uh both of them and maya just didn't want to believe it i don't know why she just didn't want to believe that i had actually told kai everything and so i sat maya down in front of kai and i proved that i did in fact tell um kai everything and so then we established that uh i would always ask maya if it was okay for me to hug her or pick her up or whatever before that before i even did it like so can I hug you? Can I pick you up? Whatever. We were all still dating. You know, it was still, so it was weird. It's weird that I, there was this weird hugging thing and et cetera. Um, when like, typically if you're dating, you can hug someone, whatever you want. I mean, unless they're mad at you, then you can't hug them. But typically it's implied that you have consent to hug somebody. Um, and you don't just like attack them. You open your arms and they walk into your arms, that kind of thing. But anyway, I did that. Um, I said, can I hug you? And she said, or I said, I think I said, can I pick you up? And so, I, she said yes, and then I picked her up, and I walked her down a hallway, and then I walked her down another hallway while I'm carrying her. Like, I'm literally holding her, and then I sit down, and she's on my lap, and then she goes off, and she tells Kai that she felt uncomfortable, and um, Kai says, well, did he ask you to do it first? And uh, Maya says yes, and uh, Kai was like, so, I'm sorry, if you gave him consent to pick you up, like, physically just pick you up, then what was the issue? And then um, uh, I think Maya was mad at me for a while and she was like cleaning our house. I don't know why she was cleaning our house, but she was really nice that way. And then um, when I was sitting down on the couch, uh, Maya had just met my entire family. And so I asked her, so what's your family like? And she, her face like changed. Like, like I had just asked her the most offensive question in the world. And she's like, I want to go home. And I'm like, okay <laughs> like all right and then you know that was it i i i we uh oh yeah she was crying all the way to the airport in the car with kai if i'm recalling this right yeah uh, maya was like sobbing hysterically and talking about how she was like uh kai's soulmate and how they would still be like together in the next life or something like that you'd have to ask kai about that whole thing because i wasn't there for that but yeah, so that's the whole relationship with Maya. It was very strange. I kissed Maya once. I hugged her twice. I picked her up, I think, once. Like, physically carried her, I think, once. Might have been twice. And that's the whole relationship. And I guess that's a big deal. So, anyway. Um, I got a lot of uh, super chats to catch up on. Um... The first uh, super chat is from when are you making? Okay, sorry, read that one. Uh, we debate Ben Shapiro. Will I debate Ben Shapiro? Did I read that right the first time? I don't think I read that right the first time. Uh, sure, I would probably debate Ben Shapiro with a smile. <laughs> uh, someone said, "What happened with the whole Maya situation?" I just explained it. Someone said, "Hey, groomer, you're gonna address the this er, address this er not." Yeah, so there's a person who went out and said that we groomed somebody. Um, that somebody that they're talking about uh, is an awesome human being. They've wanted to be with Kai for a very long time. And Kai has, uh, when they first encountered Kai, like physically, uh, been in the same room is what I'm talking about, is when Kai was dating his girlfriend at the time. So there is no chance of that person interacting in a romantic way or anything like that. That in addition, their age was a little awkward. It was legal, but it was awkward, so we still didn't pursue. Um, but uh, Kai was dating uh, their now ex at the time, his now ex at the time. And uh, this other party that they're talking about grooming um, was just a friend and repeatedly communicated a friend, you know? And so... Um, Somebody who uh, spoke to that person, this person that they're saying was groomed or whatever, somebody who spoke to them said to that person, uh, uh, as I understand, based on the statements of the person in question, uh, they asked um, that 
that um, 16 year old if they would sleep with them. And I think that that person was possibly asking it like, you know, if we would sleep together, would you sleep with me or something? I don't know what they were asking exactly, but the person who's been, you know, going all over saying that we're pervs or whatever, um, actually asked that person a question directly connected to that. You'll have to see that person, I think, is doing a stream later and they can clarify what actually was said. But we were told later on that that person asked this this uh, girl if she would sleep with this other girl. And that other girl is the girl who's been doing these live streams recently and trying to be really aggressive towards us and so forth. Um, I would use names, but I don't want to. Um, unless, of course, you guys actually brought up names and I'm responding to names or whatever. But anyway, so uh, yeah, we texted back and forth a few times recently and I told them that they need to stop harassing that person in question, the, uh, the younger person who's now an adult. They need to stop harassing him and that younger person who's now an adult uh, actually directly asked them to stop talking about him. And right after that person tweeted, the plot thickens and then went on talking about them anyway, um, which is pretty awful. If you're trying to save somebody, you don't go out and completely disregard them asking you not to talk about them and talk about them anyway while pretending to hear It's just weird. Anyway, um, so uh, the grooming, that's what the question was about. Um, so I've treated this person really badly until they turn 18. Now, I've said that repeatedly, and it's very real. I, um, I called them many mean names on a regular basis. I treated them like, you know, I would treat anybody I had no interest in <laughs> that way. Rudely, horribly rudely. Again, thank you guys for all the super chats. This is crazy. And again, I'll, I'll be following the people who leave their Twitter usernames. Um... Anyway, what I'm saying is, um, I think it's I think it's really weird that people would say that we were into this person before they turned 18, um, and even after we didn't do anything with them. That's just weird. Like to this day, we haven't kissed them, we haven't um, uh, done anything sexual or anything like that to them. So it's very strange that people made a big deal about that. But it's also strange that people make a big deal about a lot of things. Because, like, when nothing sexual happens between people um, and nobody's saying, like, I love you, I'm going to be with you forever, you're my girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Like, I tell people that I love them if they're, like, a really good friend or if they mean a lot to me or whatever. But I'm not going to be, like, you know, marry me or anything like that. Um, so let's go and scroll down some more. Uh, but no, like, in, in regards to the grooming, that person wants has expressed a, a sincere interest in being with Kai and Kai has been very, very uh, hesitant because of numerous factors. So it's just like, I don't know, like it's really complicated. And even though they're an adult now, we're still not, still nothing's happened. So anyway, um, going on. Uh, another super chat is, can you buy some nice br bush seeds with this? $2 probably isn't enough to buy uh, enough bush seeds, but I, th I think that's very funny you said that. Um, does Kai identify as Dimmy Boy? You'd have to ask Kai that, and thanks for sharing your Twitter. I'll follow it right now. If this will load. Apparently my connection is not too great. Did someone, <laughs> someone said, nice job on that wasteland, bro. I think you mean wetland, not wasteland. Okay, so I followed that person, and now, thanks, Lindsay. Um, Bush seeds, Kai, Demi boy. What's the most ridiculous accusation that you've ever heard about yourself or Kai? It really, it was the Skype one. It's the one I got in trouble for um, regarding my joke on Twitter. Uh, somebody said that I was Skyping them but they knew that I was around Kai at all times. Like Kai is amazing for this. Whenever Kai's around, um, I'm basically, you know, conscious. <laughs> what I mean by that is, uh, the, the most time we ever spend together is every waking moment at nighttime. Sometimes I'm sleeping somewhere else, like in another room or whatever, depending on the situation, how hot the room is or whatever. Um, as you guys know, we're also parents. So sometimes, you know, 
the child wants me to lay next to them so they can, um, you know, not be afraid. So there's that. But like during the day, we're around each other constantly. And so it's kind of funny when somebody says, oh, you Skyped me. So they, their, their story was that I Skyped them while I was on the toilet. Like every time I went to the bathroom, I was Skyping them allegedly. Anyway, uh, so that was the most ridiculous accusation. And someone else said that I kissed them at an airport, like they, not an airport, on an airplane. They said I was, I was, I was with this alleged younger person and I was just kissing him on an airplane in front of everybody. And I was just like, guys, that is who would do that? It's like you may as well walk around with a uh, arrest me sign <laughs> on top of the whole who wants to kiss a 14 year old thing. I mean, unless you're 14. <laughs> also, um, like, OK, so when I was 18, a 15 year old tried to kiss me and I wouldn't kiss them. I actually like turned my head and they kissed the side of my face instead, because that's how I feel about people that are that young. Um, that was my ex sister in law who I've done videos with and I'm still cool with, even though, you know. She's not cool with me due to the fact that I left her sister. So that's awkward. Um, on to Astro Sky. Appreciate, man. You continue to grow as a person, bro. Thanks, bud. Someone said, isn't Maya underage? No, she was in her 20s, like 21. 21 or 22, something like that. But people won't talk about that for obvious reasons. It's not convenient if you mention that I dated a 21-year-old. But anyway, um, ooh, Joy giving back some of that money that she uh she been earning off my name uh but i'm not there yet holy shit you guys are really this is gonna take me forever okay so um uh the maya thing someone said we are friends that's dev yes we are friends dev um attack on don't tell dev but i'd probably still hang out with her even if she wasn't a patron <laughs> Shh. <laughs> she might not be a patron anymore then she gets my friendship for free damn it <laughs> No, but uh, someone says, you helped me through a lot of things. Thanks. Thanks for saying so, Attack on Titan. Someone said, I'm not hip, but oh, that's Dev again. But got this for you. Thanks for another $1.99. I wonder why that. Someone said, uh, Chicken Goddess gave me 10 and they said, saxophone chicken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll do 15 more minutes. All right. Can you lock that? Can you lock it? That's not locking. One sec, guys. I'm sorry. You know that that one video where... Um... <laughs> you know that one video where that guy's like on a business call or he's, he's on a news report and his kids just rush in the back? I never want that to happen to me, so I try to lock the door and stuff because I cannot tolerate the idea of that ever going down that's just the scariest thing like you don't want people to anyway someone said uh in the super chat they said saxophone chicken sax cock i don't know what you're trying to say uh dev says now i'm hip gave me 20 wow thanks dev jesus <laughs> uh kiddo todd says you rock haha -ha. two tacos thank you someone said what's the deal with you and resian right now oh Okay, so Rezian, we'll call him. Rezian is a guy who has been... Re he had his girlfriend tweet at me that she's getting Victoria's Secret with the earnings that they got from a video they did on me. And I was... <laughs> a, a very a very shady uh, response to that could have been, oh, wow, it's very sad you need another man to buy your girlfriend things. <laughs> If you're blaming me for the reason your girlfriend's going to Victoria's Secret. But uh, I wouldn't say that. That's terrible. That's mean. Uh, and then Revzian uh, actually came into a live stream. And he said, um, he said, thanks for paying for my college tuition. Which actually made me feel better. You know, because I was like, oh, it's going towards something really good. Like, I like paying for people's college tuition. I paid for Kai's college tuition. Kai has a psych degree because... I dumped so much money into Kai and I'm so happy I did because now Kai knows with their psych degree that they're probably not being what people say they are, which is like manipulated and so forth because Kai being a psych major probably would know. Maybe. Probably. Anyway, it's just nice to have some a spouse who's being told that, you know, certain psychological things are going on and they're a psych major so they would know. Um, another person says, I'm pan, but my parents won't allow it. Advice. 
well, you can always be pan away from them. You know, be pan on your own. Like, I had a Christian dad, and I was, you know, an atheist away from them. But when I was alone in my room, I was blasting, you know, God is dead and no one cares. And if there's a hell, I'll see you there. That kind of music. Thanks for the thousand people watching me. This is mind blowing. Um, all right. So on to the next. Hey, I've been watching you for literally five years. Your happiness is my happiness. Stay positive and strong. Thank you so much, April. Uh, another person says, your local sad girl. Here's some money and my Twitter. I'm following people who share their Twitter with a, um, whatchamacallit. If you do a super chat with your Twitter, I follow. It's a rule. Oh, shit. I see nipples. It's all right. You look, you're an adult. You're an adult. You're very an adult. You look, you look like you could be my age. So that's good. I don't, I don't want to follow some weird shit. Um, <laughs> would you comb my hair? Says sex. I don't know, man. Maybe someday. I don't know. If you if you meet me in the mall and you bring a comb, I'll uh, run it through. Why would you try to destroy the Puget Sound ecosystem? We're trying to preserve the sound, not kill it. Wetland lives matter. See, this seems like a joke. It really seems like... That seems like a joke. And the reason I'm saying that seems like a joke is because you did hashtag wetland lives matter. This is like... You guys know what outrage culture is? It's like when somebody... For instance, my neighbor, my neighbor four doors down right now is actively bulldozing their yard, okay? Nobody cares about them bulldozing their yard. The difference is they probably got permission first, you know? So it's not actually about the land. It's about the money that you gave the government before you did that. So I didn't know I had to do that, and I've already done it now. So we're square, and I have to, you know, plant some sick berry bushes or whatever I can. Someone said, Laney denied everything. You're admitting to it. I don't, you have to be more specific, you can't say everything and whatever. You got to be specific. Please be specific when you say denied everything. Because um, I, can't, I can't refute everything. Like, I, you got to be, like, tell me. Uh, this says, sending love from Pamela. Thank you so much, Pamela. Joy Sparkle <laughs> says, maybe if you didn't date teenagers, you wouldn't have any of these issues. Oh, and she tells me that I, I need to follow her. You know, a deal's a deal, Joy. I'm following you on Twitter. I said I would follow you. I didn't. See, this is why you got to be specific. You got to say, I'll follow you unless you've made over 100 hate videos about me. All right, so I followed you. You're officially followed. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. <laughs> uh, anyway, so she says, maybe if you didn't date teenagers, you wouldn't have these issues. Ever think about that? Maybe only F lane stop harassing Ayala. I'm not. Okay, so here's the thing with that. Uh, if you come out with accusations against someone's spouse, they're allowed to text you and say, hey, can you stop? <laughs> and they're also allowed to point out, you know, that you asked the same person that you're talking about, this girl, asked the same person that they're talking about us being weird to. They asked that same person if they would sleep with her. So that's confusing. And it's also confusing why if they actually, like if this girl and the other girl, uh, they're friends, actually felt this way why did they why did why did i have to end uh terminate connections with them why did because when what they're saying allegedly went down uh there was no them going oh i can't be friends with you anymore oh i can't do this or that which tells me you know even if i was in this situation that seems pretty bs like it seems pretty nonsense now with um uh this girl talking to you know, this other girl and saying, hey, would you sleep with me? That stuff I didn't know about till after the fact, way after the fact. And, you know, it's gross. I didn't I didn't go, oh, because, you know, technically it's legal for those two. If they wanted to be together, they could. But I I still think it's a little funny that you would, you know, point at everyone else when you yourself with the same person tried something that those other people you're saying did stuff didn't do. So it's just really confusing. I think it's like a projecting. That person said she has brain damage. Allegedly in a live stream, she said she had brain damage. So I don't I don't get any of this. And I think that they should, you know, work on that first. Anyway, thanks to Lindsay for what you said. And uh, or for the, the super chat. Uh, oh, and it actually addressed that point. Why do you date? I don't date minors so often. Joy, be real. Seriously, just be real. 
you know I don't date minors. Like, seriously. The last time I dated someone like that was uh, my spouse. So, I mean, be real, you guys. Be honest. Uh, Repsian also donated $2. Uh, $2, give me... Give me, like, what? What'd you make? $6,000 off that video? Give me $6,000. And we'll be square. <laughs> the video about me that you've been buying your girlfriend lingerie with. Uh, sending love from your... Okay, and they left their Twitter. Thanks for the super chat. I will follow you now. Um, by the way, Joy, I said I'd follow people, right? Didn't say I wouldn't unfollow them after. Not saying I'm unfollowing you. I'm just saying I have the choice. Because <laughs> while I wasn't specific about the on, I also wasn't specific about the off. Um, so I tried to find this username, not your gothic GF, and I can't. It doesn't show up on Twitter at all. You super chatted me, but I can't find your actual thing. Please try to link it or something. I'm sorry. If this is just an Instagram, I can't follow your Instagram. That's odd. I said Twitter. Uh, forget to add the last chat. Here's my Twitter. I'm following this Twitter. Here's some money. My Twitter's K stuff. Thanks, guys. Um, I'm going to be covering the actual live chat in front of my face in a second. It's just you guys overwhelmed me with super chats, which was incredible of you. So thank you so much for that. Um, just following K stuff as well. This is cool. I'm really glad I did this on YouTube. All right, I'm following a dead account, apparently. That's cool. <laughs> they haven't posted is what I mean. Anyway, sorry for being boring. All right, let's get to the actual things. Oh, someone else said, I've been following you since 2009. That's awesome. Okay, now we're looking at this. This right here. Uh, you and your puppet. <laughs> puppet. Puppet? I, I don't even want to say that. It's, mis it's misgendering. Onion, you said... Oh, here's Joy. Uh, you said fibro was a mental illness and a disease, and now Ayala has brain damage. Nice. No, I think you should actually look up on her stream. She actually did say that. Of course, I didn't watch it, but that's what um, I talked to someone who watched it, and they said that she said that. So that's why I'm saying it, because that other person I talked to said that she said it. And it was about her not remembering dates, right? Like she said that person that came over was 15, and they were actually 16, and they were just friends, as we repeatedly established with them. Uh they dated them like a month before they were 18, not when KIA was 16. What? That's not even competent. I don't even know how to read that. Joy, you are a liar. Get a life loser. That, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. That is a mean thing to say. That other person said it. I read it. If you unfollowed me, that makes you a hashtag liar. Why, are you, why do you say you would sue me and didn't so you are lying about suing I.L.? I don't think you know what a liar is, Joy. Okay, so first of all, if I said, hey, if you give me a super chat, I'll follow you, and I follow you, done deal. That's it. If somebody unfollows you after, that's a totally different thing. <laughs> that's, I didn't say I'd follow you forever. That's actually just a sneaky snake thing to do. But what also is a sneaky snake thing to do is to follow and watch somebody you hate. You, you weirdo. <laughs> like I don't watch people I hate unless I'm actively making a video about them. And I don't even want to make videos about people I don't like anymore because it's not fun. It's just depressing. And so uh, uh, they go on to say, you know, I never sued Joy. Um, and they're saying that's a lie. When somebody says, okay, so if you say, hey, I'll see you at 10, and you're not there at 10, but you had the truth in you to and the plan in you that you would be there at 10, and the reason you didn't make it is because your mom got put in the hospital, is that now a lie because you went to see your mom instead? Or is it a broken promise? So, I mean, it's just like, you know, basic logic stuff. Don't aim to put you on the spot. Clearly, some people are willing to waste money to get your attention. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're getting what they paid for. Added an extra C. Oh, <laughs> not your gothic. There you go. I'll follow you now. Thanks for clearing that up. And sorry for any boredom. I'm just trying to make sure everything is as it's supposed to be. Um... Okay, what am I? Love your content. My Twitter is this. This is just going to be turned into a big follow fest, isn't it? Okay. Twitter. I'll look at the other stuff. Wetlands Lives Matter. That is such a troll hashtag. You guys aren't even serious. Why would you say that? This, that, that, that trivializes what happened. You got to be serious about it. 
<laughs> Me with my joke. <laughs> Guys, that trivializes what happens. Runs a joke, go fund me. <laughs> all right, so I see this is so amusing yet so boring at the same time. I agree. He needs all the help he can get. I agree. Hashtag LOL be mad. I agree. I'll pay you to unfollow Joy Sparkle. Well, mm, uh, you know, if I get one more super chat, then technically I'm paid to unfollow Joy Sparkle. So nobody super chat me if uh, you want me to follow Joy Sparkle. I'll leave it up to everybody else uh, to decide. That doesn't count because that was delayed. Um, that was already there. The yeah, I'll pay you to unfollow Joy Sparkle. But I'll, I'll stay followed to Joy Sparkle because, you know, I said I would follow her. I already followed her, so I followed through with my agreement. But if somebody else, <laughs> if somebody else super chats me, unfollow Joy Sparkle. Sorry, it's just got to happen, Joy. They paid for it. I got to deliver. You know, they made me. Oh, Jesus, I got two super chats already. Damn it, Joy, I have to unfollow you. I'm sorry. It's just I agreed to do it. It was a contractual agreement. Joy, I'm so sorry that I got to... <laughs> Oh, Joy, no. It's all right. That's right. I followed you. I followed my agreement. So there you go. I did what I promised. <laughs> and as I follow you forever. I... <laughs> and th th what I pull up is this dude who posted a picture of a dude laughing. That's how I feel. Thanks, guys. Um, but they said my Twitter handle and hey, Greg, for the past five years, I wondered who's your favorite band song. By the way, I love your 10 things videos. Thanks. Uh, uh, so, uh. No, hey, wait, is that... I don't know if you're actually Ayala. I can't follow Ayala. But they said, has Sarah seen you or Kai naked? As an adult, definitely. Not me. Not me. Sorry. God damn it, that's going to get edited out of context. As, a, as an adult, Sarah has seen uh, uh, Kai without a top. As an adult. Uh, but I'm not, you know, Mr. Nighthawk. I don't follow people wherever they go. So I can't speak for everyone's entire life. Um, yeah. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to follow. Why? I don't think that's Ayala. So I, I can't follow someone else's account based on your super chat. That's fucking creepy. Um, bro X Swingdoll on Twitter. Okay. Follow you. Ugh, that's such a creepy question. Have you seen me naked? <laughs> Why am I answering it? <laughs> Someone said, LOL, LOL, Ruffle. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, guys, I have to go. If you want to do this again sometime, that's great. Um, someone said, would you collab with a smaller YouTuber? I do it all the time. Lenny said, you guys have no knowledge of uh, Sarah having romantic interests. Well, I disagree. I think we do. I think it's very obvious. I think I had... The, I, the moment we, there was this thing when um, um, Kai was with his ex, the one we were both dating, um, where uh, that other party was clearly uncomfortable seeing Kai and that other person into each other. And so I had to have a talk with that person saying, hey, um, this isn't a romantic thing. We're friends. And um, there was a, there's a lot of misunderstandings. But the point is, is that we were 100% never like that. Even to this day, we still haven't been romantic with that person. Like, um, yeah, I haven't kissed. We haven't done anything relationshipy, like sexual. Um, yeah. So anyway... Uh, that's the, the real news. Um, there are people that get like 20 views a day on their channel who are saying otherwise. And, you know, it's pretty obvious with this whole Repsian thing that people feel like they need to make videos about me. And like, for instance, the Shannon girl, she's making stuff about me, uh, or Kai actually. It was funny. Shannon made this thing where she said that Kai tried to groom Shannon by inviting her to a VIP concert. And then she revealed the text that Kai sent. And Kai was just like, hey, want to collab? There's a concert here. Yet they set it up like it was a big thing. And so people are just adding people to the list who actually have nothing. 
And so it's really awkward. Like I even heard like there's a 12 year old out there somewhere. And I really think that proof would be good. Typically, guilty people don't ask for proof that I know of, but I would really like proof. Um, and I, th I would hope that that would make you guys conclude that I'm not guilty. But either way, I think that proof should be shown, should be seen when you, uh, <laughs> when you uh, want to accuse someone of something like terrible. You know, you should actually be using like I've I've said things about people in the past and then I'll play a clip or something that supports what I'm saying. I don't just make claims and then hope people agree. Um, uh, unless, of course, it's me encountering them personally. You know, that's the, that I when I talked about social repose, I didn't have a whole lot of proof yet. I was right about him. So I guess, God, this is so fucking complicated. I don't. All you have to do is basically, I guess, wait and see, you know, because uh I know I'm innocent and people act like they know my life more than me, but time tells, you know, because there's a lot of people who aren't honest out there. So I guess a lot of people just want, you know, to cash in right now, which is really smart. It's really smart to make, you know, a really long live stream about how one time uh, Onision said, you look ugly. And now you're mad forever about it. <laughs> it's just like, I'm sorry. I didn't know it would be this big of a deal. I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. Uh, we all know Booty is a farmer. I don't know what that means. Ugh, you're such a daddy. Thank you. Um, hey, Greg, I know you're stressed out and everything, but it'll be okay, bud. Thanks. I'm not that stressed out. I'm pretty happy. I'm, like, pretty much the happiest I've been in a very long time, you know? Anyway, last um, Super Chats are... Um, a Twitter follow? No. Ooh, shoot. I don't. Oh, it's so the broken swing doll on Twitter. I couldn't find your Twitter, but you can you can spam me on Twitter to follow you if I. I'll hopefully remember that name. I gotta follow someone else. Who? Oh, I think I already followed you. You're the mild anxiety person. Yeah, I already followed you. And someone else said, if you're still calling Kai Laney, you obviously are not up to date. And yeah, and you might be a little bit rude. Did you take vegan guys? Okay, so the, did I take vegan gains advice on veganism? Right. So vegan gains told me that um, I should drink more soy milk, and then I remembered that soy gives you tits, so I didn't. <laughs> that and soy can cause cancer in your stomach. So I didn't take vegan gains advice because it's it's advice that could kill me. But as I understand, vegan gains is like raging about me on Twitter. He thinks I'm the worst person ever, which is cute. It's, I kind of felt bad for him just because I, I, I think I've been there. I've been in this like really angry state before and it's just not fun. Ugh. You don't realize how, how bad it is until like you get out of it and you're like, oh my God, what was I? I'm so bad. You've never followed me. You really helped me. Your cutting video saved my life. Thank you. I'm glad it helped you. Make another Elmo sketch, emo sketch soon, please. I would love to. You should do a live stream with Kai. I would love to. I got my heart broken tonight, but this is fun. I'm so sorry you got your heart broken, and I'm so glad that you're having fun. Um, anyway, thank you to all the guys who said horribly nice things to me. <laughs> but I do have to go because Kai is really upset that I'm not upstairs right now. So thank you for being beautiful. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being wonderful. Thank you for inviting me to Aberdeen. Um, someone says, so you do confirm that Kai is a liar. I don't want to call my spouse a liar. That's really not cool. <laughs> I, I have I have done that in the past, called my spouse a liar, and I should really be a better husband. I really should. I should say nicer things to my spouse, and I should focus on the positive and not be so, ugh, you know? I want to be a better person, and I want to be the best person I can be. So that's kind of why <laughs> someone, said... <laughs> someone said my, <laughs> I can't even say it. It was automatically hidden, but someone said something so funny. Um, yeah, that brings up a good point. I don't know why these people are talking about this. I think it's because they thought that we were dating Sarah. I think that the, the, uh, Kai's ex and Kai's ex's friend thought that Kai was dating Sarah. So they wanted to like be jealous and weird and lash out and they were wrong because, you know, I'm not talking about what happens in however much time. I don't know what the future holds, but we're not dating sarah okay like that's not that's never happened um it's not currently happening um yeah that's that's it 
so maybe you guys should have just asked us if we were dating before you went on your jealous weird yeah anyway have a wonderful day guys and thank you so much for joining me this was 